Hundreds are confirmed dead. Hundreds more are still missing. Good evening. We are continuing our coverage of the tragic natural disaster in Japan. The sun is now shining on that area rocked by the 8.9 magnitude quake. It's been nearly 24 hours since it hit, and aftershocks continue to roll. By now, you likely know that tremor spawned a horrific tsunami that swallowed the northeastern portion of that island country. The 23-foot-tall wall of water swept away boats, cars, and entire homes. The death toll is rising. All we see is a pile of debris. And we've been looking for people, but we see nobody. Millions of people are homeless, and another huge concern is weighing heavy on the country. The quake damaged two nuclear power plants, sparking a state of emergency. Radiation levels inside one have surged to 1,000 times the normal level. Thousands of people have been evacuated from the surrounding area. Even the U.S. felt the quake's impact, with high waves washing ashore on Hawaii and the West Coast. One California man trying to take pictures of the wave died when it washed him away. Well, scientists say that powerful tremor shook the earth like a bell, even moving New Mexico up and down about an inch. And there could be more to come. Here's News 13's Nancy Laughlin. Well, Diane, we may be half a world away from where it happened, but professors at New Mexico Tech play a key part in monitoring and analyzing what quakes like this mean. They say it's a matter of time before a quake that size shakes the U.S. too. It has rarely happened in modern history, a monster earthquake rocking a major city, causing a huge tsunami. Okay. The whole earth rings like a bell when uh, an earthquake of this size occurs. Here in New Mexico... But it moved, you know, by that much. We moved about an inch up and down when the quake hit around midnight our time, but you likely didn't feel it because it happened over several minutes. This is how the ground moved in Albuquerque over the course of... Uh, uh, six hours, roughly. Richard Astor is one of many New Mexico scientists who study earthquakes. He says it's one of the few natural hazards that don't give warning signs. But in this case, there may have been one when a smaller quake hit Japan just two days earlier. Astor says we can learn a lot from that because it's a matter of time before a large earthquake shakes the U.S. too. It's probably a pretty good analog for an earthquake that we expect to occur eventually off the northwestern U.S in the vicinity of uh, Northern California, Oregon, and Washington. Astor says the last time a huge quake hit that area was the 1700s. So like Japan, we're due for another. This was uh, the first earthquake of this size to ever strike a uh, modern nation with modern infrastructure. Um, and it is a, a sort of a dry run for what we'll eventually encounter in the northwestern United States. Meantime, Astor says this quake will continue shaking the entire globe like a giant bell for months to come. New Mexico has a huge role in the earthquake research, not only with the scientists at New Mexico Tech, but also we have a lab that studies when, where, and the size of the quake with graphs like this. And that information is shared around the world. Diane, back to you. All right, thank you, Nancy. Astor says it's not only scientists who are learning a lot from this earthquake in Japan, but engineers and emergency responders as well.